Welcome back, everyone, as we continue our discussion here on the Iglesia de Cristo International Edition. Uh, now, uh, brothers and dear friends, our question is, is doing good works, like loving our fellow men and helping him when he's in trouble and hurting, uh, maybe because of the poverty he finds himself in, well, is doing that related to the attainment of salvation on the Day of Judgment? Brother Glenn, uh, if you could please uh, uh, respond to that. Well, of course it is, uh, Brother Johnny, and that is based here in 1 Timothy chapter 6, 18 to 19. Let them do good that they may be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. So the Bible teaches us here to be rich in good works. For what reason? So that we may lay hold of eternal life. We are storing up for ourselves a foundation, not only for God's blessings in this life, but above all there in the holy city. Therefore, the efforts and sacrifices of the members of the Church of Christ in our fight against poverty by helping those who are poor or those who are needy will never be in vain because we help them not only materially through the material goods we give them, but above all spiritually through the words of God written in the Holy Bible. Well, you know, Brother Jojo, when the church is holding these activities, outreach, evangelical missions, you know, laying up some Mama Mayan, INC giving, different parts of the world, we can see how all of these activities are successful because of the blessing granted by the Lord our God. So what is always our reaction when we see God granting His blessing to all of these events and making them successful? Brother Johnny, uh, our reaction uh, and even our thought process, the way that we uh, continue to be inspired to do these things, uh, is pretty much summed up by what is written here in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and the verse is 57. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's something that members of the Church of Christ or the Iglesia Ni Cristo always keep in mind. None of these things would be possible without the help and mercy of our Almighty God. So the proper reaction for a member of the Church of Christ is this. Whenever there are successes, there are even different organizations that uh, continue to recognize us for our uh, efforts in helping our fellow men, especially those who are truly in need. None of that matters to us. The only thing that matters to us is that we are able to give honor and glory to our Almighty God because all of the successes, all of the triumphs can only come from Him. And so we are always grateful. We're always thanking Him from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, whenever we have these successful endeavors uh, whether we're, we're helping out uh, when it comes to material things, and most especially when we're able to share our faith with those who are not yet members of the Church of Christ. Praises be to our Almighty God for all of the successes He continues to shower upon the Church of Christ. So, dear friends, the Church of Christ, the Iglesia de Cristo, through its well-known civic action activities, has earned the respect of all. Others have learned to acknowledge the good things the church has done for its fellow men. With our beloved executive minister at the helm, our dear brother Eduardo Vimanalo, the concern of the church for the welfare of the brethren and our fellow men is known the world over. So again, all thanks and glory be unto the Lord our God. We'd like to thank Brother Jojo Bayani in San Francisco, California and Brother Glenn David in Sydney, Australia, for giving us Bible-based answers, so that as the Apostle Peter said to the members of the church, you will be ready to speak up and tell anyone who asks why you're living the way you are, which we can read in 1 Peter 3.15. Well, that does it for us here on the Iglesia de Cristo International Edition. We hope you'll join us again next time. I'm Jenny Martin. Thank you very much for watching. And as we come to the end of the program, we invite you to join us for a short prayer. Our Heavenly Father, 
Yes. yes, Father. We are very grateful to you this day. Yeah. Yes, Father. For once more, you have used your humble instruments. Yeah. Yes, Father. In relaying your messages to our fellow men. Amen. Amen. The topic that was discussed this day was truly very important. Yeah. Yes, Father. In allowing our friends and loved ones and our fellow men to understand. Yeah. Yes. It is truly not enough for man to live by means of the food that its body needs. Yeah. Yes. But even more so, it is important for man and for his soul to be fed by the words of God. Yeah. Which we can find written and taught by the Holy Scriptures. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Father, that in our own little way, yes, Father. by means of the offerings that the members of the Church of Christ set aside, yes. Yes. we are able to help even our fellow men when it comes to their immediate needs, especially when disasters and calamities strike. Amen. Amen. We thank you for all of the successes that you give to the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. We give back all of the honor and glory unto you. Amen. Amen. Help us to continue to reap success in all of our spiritual endeavors. Yes, yes Father. Father. Allow your words and your teachings to reach as many human beings at the soonest possible time. Yes. yes so that many more will have the opportunity to listen to your truths yeah. and thereby will also have the opportunity to be saved on the day of judgment. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus, thank you as well. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We know, Lord, that you are always by the side of your disciples. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. We beg, Lord, please mediate all of our prayers unto the Father. Yes. yes, so that the Father will continue to listen to and answer all of our requests. Amen. Amen. Father, as we pray to you once more, may all that we do always be in line with the intents and purposes of the administration you have placed inside the church. Yes. yes. Please continue to bless the overall administrator of the church, Brother Eduardo V. Manalo. Amen. Amen. So that he can continue in turn to lead us in the most righteous and proper manner of service to you. Amen. Amen. We thank you so very much. We beg these things only in the name of your Son, our Lord, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.